important is I'm just going to read out from the mission objectives. The, the main objectives of this mission is the flight demonstration and evaluation of the test vehicle subsystems. Uh, so they want to see how the test vehicle performs the flight demonstration and evaluation of the crew escape system, including various separation systems and the crew module characteristics and deceleration systems demonstration at higher altitude and its recovery. So these are the three uh, objectives that the ISRO man, uh, you know, hopes to achieve through this mission. They want to see how it performs uh, the deceleration systems when it reaches a high altitude, how uh, the deceleration system, how it performs. All of this will be thoroughly studied and analyzed to see whether they need to make any changes uh, and if at all any changes are required, then they will do so. So this is uh, this is just one of the series of tests that will that uh, ISRO will t uh, carry out in the coming days as far as the Gaganyan mission is concerned because this is a very, very high stake mission that the ISRO is, uh, you know, looking at and that is the reason why they do not want to leave any stone unturned especially with regards to the safety because this is going to be a manned mission right uh, that is the reason why they do not want any kind of error uh, uh, but for the launch today it is not it's not a manned uh, uh, mission it, it it's just the uh, module that will be launched and it's an unpressurized, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, crew module that will be launched. Uh, the uh, it is uh, the crew module. If you speak about it, it's an alum. It's it's an, it's a structure made of aluminium and it weighs over 4,000 kilograms. Uh, that's what we uh, we are being told. So uh, you know, there are a lot of technicalities that needs to be looked into uh, as far as this entire mission is concerned. Several aspects that needs to be studied well, uh, needs to be analyzed very very thoroughly before the actual mission kicks off uh, from Sriharikota. Uh, probably few months from now on right that's right a few months from now on 2025 is when we actually send humans to space and that really is the huge and the big and most exciting plan up ahead in the year 2025 be with us uh, shilpa i'm just going to come back to you in a moment from now but let's talk now about the abort test the module that's going to carry astronauts is going to be fixed on a test vehicle. This is the plan essentially as far as the abort test is concerned. So what is the abort test and how does it really work? The crew module will not have actual astronauts. The crew module is going to be released from the escape system. That's how it's going to move forward. Essentially, this is to ensure the security of the astronauts and the humans who eventually go into space. Parachutes will be deployed and Moriel is going to then drop into sea. There is a safest bet for humans as far as involvement of them in this mission is concerned. Escape system and launch vehicle will also fall into the sea. The process eventually is obviously going to show the safety of the human crew. The idea is to get them back safely, Shilpa, within a span of three days, essentially is what the test is going to show us. What more can you tell us about the duration of the actual mission, of the actual Gaganyan mission, which when takes place in the year 2025, will have humans go into space? Uh, well, uh, Sneha, the basic idea that ISRO has shared with us uh, as far as the Gaganyan mission is concerned, around three astronauts uh, will, you know, uh, will be part of this manned crew. Uh, the test, the, the rocket, of course, will uh, lift off from Sriharikota and it will go to an orbit of around 400 kilometers where the astronauts will be stationed for three days. And after three days, they will come back and, and you know, they will uh, touch down or they will splash down on the Bay of Bengal. Uh, that is what even today they're trying to, uh, you know, emulate. They're trying to, uh, you know, show without the crew, of course, without the man crew. So uh, what will happen essentially is uh, the specially designed launch vehicle today. It's a single stage uh, rocket. Uh, it's a liquid propellant rocket. Uh, and on its four, it has the crew module and the crew escape system that will be mounted. And uh, when it reaches an altitude of 17 kilometers, uh, an abort signal will be given. And once the abort signal is given, the crew module and the crew escape system uh, detaches itself from the launch vehicle and there will be a parachute that will be deployed, multiple parachutes that will be deployed, which will then uh, help it uh, you know, touch down to the Bay of Bengal and it will fall on the sea where the Indian Navy 
ships and the Indian Navy personnel will help and retrieve it safely and bring it back to the shore. So that is this uh, sequence of events as far as today's mission is concerned. Uh, it will last only around 5.31 seconds. So it's a very short duration uh, mission. And since it's not a huge rocket that's being, uh, you know, lifted off from Shriharikota, it's, uh, the visibility of it uh, will not be great is what we're being told at this point in time. And uh, just this update that we're getting uh, at this point in time is that the liftoff has been rescheduled to 8.30. Uh, 8.30 a.m. Uh, ISRO has just put out that, uh, you know, confirmation on uh, its social media account that the liftoff has been rescheduled to 8.30. It was supposed to happen at 8. Uh, so uh, 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 earlier also it was supposed to happen around 7.30, 7.45. Then it was changed to 8. And now we're getting to understand that uh, it, it will happen around 8 a.m. is what we're being told. 8.30 a.m. is what we're being told uh, at this point in time. Uh, so clearly, uh, you know, at this point in time, uh, you, we are at the Sriharikota uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center and uh, the uh, command center is already, you know, filling up with uh, the ISRO teams, uh, the members who are part of this mission to see you know, uh, uh, what needs to be done uh, in a short time from now, it, this command center will be a bus with activity and 8.30 is when uh, the test vehicle will uh, lift off from Shriharikota. The test vehicle lifts off, but it's thrown in a tweet has said, and I'm going to read from there, the liftoff is rescheduled at 8.30 hours and Indian Standard Time and the live streaming starts at 8 uh, in fact, uh, 800 hours is essentially at 8 o'clock is when uh, the live streaming starts, is what Istro has clearly said. Remember, viewers, we're talking about the Gaganyaan mission launch. And this, of course, is the uncrewed test flight for the Gaganyaan program, getting you all the details. As far as the countdown to the mission, Gaganyaan is concerned, is officially on with the first test flight that has been scheduled today at about 8.30 is what the update is. From Mistro, Shilpa, you were talking to us about the fact that it's going to be extremely short in duration. What are the specific parameters that are going to be tested in this particular test mission today? Well, yes, Neha. In fact, uh, as far as this mission is concerned, what the ISRO is looking at is how the test vehicle performs, how the crew module performs, and how the crew escape system performs. These are the three main uh, you know, aspects that will be looked into uh, because a crew module and crew uh, escape system are the most important uh, aspects of this mission because if at all, you know, once the mission is, uh, uh, you know, officially launched and if at all there is some kind of technical snag or come some kind of technical failure that uh, they uh, face, then this is the safety mechanism that has been put in place for the crew, for the astronauts to escape uh, in flight. They need to abort the mission and they need to escape and they they need to uh, come back. So this is the safety mechanism that, will be, that has been put in place. So that is the reason why this will undergo a lot of tests and evaluation and see the kind of parameters, you know, what are the kind of uh, 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 the data that they're getting uh, with regards to the performance of these systems and the subsystems during uh, the launch, during when, when it reaches a high altitude. All of it will be thoroughly analyzed and to see whether they need to make any changes, to see whether anything has to be rectified. Uh, so this of course will keep continuing uh, as far as uh, the Gaganyaan mission is concerned until every system every subsystem is perfect and there is a, a very very low margin of error because there are human lives at stake for this mission uh, you know uh, yes Chandrayaan 3 and Aditya L1 mission were all very very high stake missions but here there are human lives uh, uh, you know that are involved so that is the reason why they, they cannot afford any mistakes so uh, we have seen in the past how ISRO has been, uh, uh, you know, they've shown their prowess as far as uh, their missions are concerned, the manner in which they are able to complete very, very complicated missions uh, with high success rate and even at a very, very low cost. They've, we've seen ISRO's prowess and that's something that they're trusting at this point in time to make sure that Gaganyan is also a, a very, very successful mission and that will make India uh, the fourth country in the world uh, to have, uh, you know, a manned crew go to the space uh, to launch a manned crew itself and uh, you know to send them to space so india will become the fourth country after uh, us soviet union and china uh, so uh, that of course uh, you know is 
वेरी वेरी हाई स्टेक मिशन एज फार एज गगनयान इज कंसर्न एंड वीव सीन हाउ चंद्रयान थ्री एंड द आदित्य एलबन मिशन इट हेज कैप्चर द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ द कंट्री देर इज सो मच हैपीनेस देर इज सो मच जॉय देर इज सो मच प्राइड वेन चंद्रयान थ्री ऑफ कॉर्स टच डाउन ऑन दैट लूना सर्फिस एंड यू नो विथ गगनयान थ्री इसरो विथ गगनयान आई बेग ए पार्ट इन देयर इसरो इज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू पुश इट्स बाउंड्रीज एंड सी एंड ट्राइंग टू यू नो कैप्चर मोर एंड मोर you know more and more uh, uh, success uh, that is something that they are looking at to push more boundaries and learn and reinvent itself through each mission that's something that isro is very very keen on so that is the reason why so many of these tests are going to take place in the coming days and coming months until uh, uh, the final mission uh, is a go that's what uh, the update is also with us uh, like uh, we just spoke about 830 is when the mission uh, has gotten uh, Rescheduled to just by a few minutes, but the live streaming is at eight, is what Isro has said. Be with us, Shilpa. Coming back to you in a moment from now. Let's get our viewers all details about Gaganyaan. Now, after the success of Chandrayaan three, Isro is all set with its other mission, Mission Gaganyaan. The countdown to Mission Gaganyaan is officially on, with its first test flight scheduled today. That's going to happen at 8:30 a.m. is what we know, and lasting. for a very short duration is what shilpa is telling us take a look at this detailed report here's what to expect <laughs> our space heroes are all set with their next adventure after chandrayaan 3's historic success isro is all set to kick off the ambitious mission gaganyaan to send an indian into space and back The first test flight will take place on Saturday, the first of 20 big tests that ISRO has planned for the near future to make this mission a success. We are glad to show you a kind of test module. It is called as the Integrated Air Drop Test Crew Module Structure. So this is one of the original crew modules that will be tested, and this this one's purpose is to be dropped from a distance of four to five kilometers. from the uh, uh, like atmosphere and it will reach down to the and they will be doing multiple tests on it to find out exactly how the structural integration works Gaganyaan's crew module escape system will be live tested from Sri Harikota a feature that is vital for the safety of future human space flight missions This is a testing of the crew escape system using a new rocket called test vehicle so it's a liquid engine powered uh, rocket on top of that we have the crew module and crew escape system so we will create an abort condition which is uh, corresponding to uh, speed of the rocket becoming speed of the sound so at that time we will abort the crucial test entails a launch of the module into space its re-entry into earth's orbit and a controlled touchdown in the bay of bengal the exact trajectory that the spacecraft will intend to take off sending a three member team into a low earth orbit of 400 kilometers for 3 to 7 days and then ensuring their safe return this particular crew module will be used for evaluating the end to end sequential performance of the parachute system so we have planned uh, several tests uh, nominal as well as many off nominal tests as defined by our own uh, design committees so uh, so for one of the tests this particular structure will be used and we will have to repeat so till we meet all the objectives what we have defined under the integrated aerodrome test we will be repeating this particular test the project is also being worked upon closely with our armed forces the navy will help with recovering the module once it touches down in the bay of bengal and then of course the chosen astronauts will be from the indian air force while the training is top secret and details haven't been revealed yet of who the astronauts are these images from earlier this month went viral showing indian air force men training for space an isro manned mission to space could become a reality as early as 2024 and prime minister modi has already made it clear he has super high expectations of our space scientists chairing a meet with the isro leadership the prime minister has set clear deadlines an indian space station by 2035 
a manned mission to Moon by 2040 and also missions to Venus and Mars. We have made a road भारतियों को लेकर हमारा गगनयान स्पेस में जाएगा फिर हम अपना स्पेस स्टेशन साबित करेंगे वो दिन दूर नहीं जब हम अपने यान में पहला भारतीय चांद पर उतारेंगे द काउंटडाउन इज ऑन and Saturday's test will be super crucial to ensure the success of the Gaganyaan mission. With Pramod Madhav, Bureau Report, India Today. All right, that launch has been rescheduled to 8.30 is what ISRO has said, but the live streaming of that is going to be starting at 8 o'clock is the announcement from ISRO. We'll be getting you up to speed with all of those developments. For the moment, it's time for a quick commercial break here. Watching India Today, powered by Finest, Be Sustainable Change, a BNP Group company. You are watching India Today, powered by Finest, Be Sustainable Change, a BNP Group company.